So I promised someone I would make this video as soon as I got my Raspberry Pi 4. This is the 4 gigabyte version. And that's important because, well, of what I'm doing with it. So I've set up vMix on my laptop to have one vMix call session. I can have up to eight. This Raspberry Pi, the only thing that I've done to modify it is I've edited the bottom line on the profile file. And so we are going to plug this in. And that's all we're going to do. We're just applying power. USB-C. <sighs> so normally I do events. It's driving this display. Normally I do uh, YouTube live events for other people. I produce, I have um, between four and eight uh, participants and we'll spend a half hour in tech checks making sure that every, everyone's connected correctly, uh, lighting composition, all that sort of thing. And this won't fix lighting and composition and that sort of thing, but it would address a lot of the hassle of getting people connected and ready to go. Again, just by making that edit in the profile. So you can see I haven't done anything with the keyboard yet. It's still loading. It doesn't have the internet connection as yet, but now it does. You can see the webcam's working. You can see vMix coming through. And now here's my participant video. So I've got the Logitech C920 on the laptop. That's why the video is not horrible. I've got a Logitech C615 on the Raspberry Pi. And it's not the very best webcam. And Raspberry Pi is not the mo very most powerful computer to connect it to. Um, so I'm not saying that you'll get perfect resolution and perfect video out of it, but it is doable. It will take advantage of WebRTC, which is what vMix Call uses in the background. And if I could put this in a box and ship it off to a participant, it would save a lot of time and a lot of hassle in getting set up for events. Again, this is the new Raspberry Pi 4 with the 4 gigabytes of RAM. So, I hope that helps.